Good morning, good evening. Welcome to my video again. This is my last video about Ender 3 version 2 after Bona. You probably noticed in my last video, it does not print on the center of the bed. Actually, in my case, the first line went out of the bed completely. Let's have a review what happened here. Let's use the x-axis as an example. When the stock harden mount hit the end stop, the nozzle parks at expected zero position. But the nozzle position can be changed sometimes. In my case, I mounted onto an afterburner. So, it goes to a different position which is outside the bed. This can be fixed by telling the printer when it hits the end stop. The position now is not zero. In this case, the end stop position is on the left side of the expected zero. So, if we set this end stop position to a negative offset instead of current value zero, then the printer knows the origin is actually on the right side. Let's find out the offsets and put them into the firmware so we can fix this issue. I will leave a 3mm margin on the bed and take a mark. If you use a clipper, you should leave more space here. So this position is going to be the origin. Let's first the home X and Y. And then from the printer menu, use move X and move Y to move your nozzle to the marked position. Then you write down the numbers. Let's also mark the BL touch position on the bed. With this diagram, you should be able to measure all the required values. I will use VS Code and Platform IO to compile a new firmware. Here I'm going to use Jaya's firmware version 2.0.1. You should always get the latest version. Let's unzip it and open the entire folder. You may want to delete the default configuration files and copy the one you needed from the configuration folder. I use the BL Touch 3x3 for my default settings. So I copied them into the Marlin folder. Let's update these values in configuration.h. With the new settings, BO Touch is now on the right side of the nozzle. So the probe can always reach the bed. So I delete this line. You don't have to update the BL touch offset at the moment because Jaya's firmware gives you an option to do it from its menu items. The last step, we build the source, copy the generated firmware into the SD card, and restart the printer. The process is the same as how you upgrade the official firmware. Before I run a test print, let me do some cable management work real quick. I don't want my final build to look like this.
By the way, I have to cut this chain anchor a little to avoid clearance issue. For extruder calibration, there are too many good videos for this topic on YouTube. So I'm gonna skip the details. This is how the machine looks. Awesome, isn't it? Finally, it's the time for the test print. I will just start the test print and walk away. Thanks for watching and see you next one.